You know what? No. 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 Um, write that down with a no. No. Welcome to a special edition of the Unicorn Says No. Uh, this one's going to be a little weird. Uh, I was out in the woods, and I found these um, people that think they're uh, celebrities, but they're not. Actually, you know what? They're not people. They're trees. Talking trees that think they're celebrities. I'm going to be interviewing them, and it's going to be interesting. Uh, the first two are, uh, I think they're... Ashley and Mary Kate Olsen, the younger version, very odd. Trees are stuck in a time capsule. And uh, the uh, second tree uh, is, uh, he thinks he's Justin Timberlake. It's kind of odd. But uh, I'm going to interview them and see what they have to say. Uh, so, join me on my journey. My first guest. My first guests are Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, and they have been on the scene for their whole lives. They were on Full House, and then after that they made a lot of videos and a multi-million dollar company. Now they're into fashion, films, magazines, and movies. You name it, they've done it. You look so much alike. How do people tell you apart? I have a speckle underneath my nose. Oh, really? Under your nose? Do you see a difference? Um, uh, yeah, I do actually. You look totally different. Uh, yeah, your, your teeth and all. Mm -hmm. He has big teeth. Do you guys walk around the woods a lot? Like, because I always walked around with my head down. But, Justin Timberlake is uh, apparently want to talk on the interview. Um, uh, let's go over there and ask him some questions. Oh, Justin Timberlake. Uh, uh, let's start with your uh, childhood. Um, what was it like? You know, I did learn how to sing in um, sort of. Um, I wouldn't call it a gospel church. You wouldn't call it a gospel church, then what would you call it? A, a regular church? That has a certain stereotype. Oh, it has a certain stereotype. What's the stereotype? Anyways, let's move on. Um, do you have any anything interesting from each other that you'd like to share? The interesting thing was, I found out when I was about 10 or 11 years old that I lived like 5 minutes. You said, uh, well, you're alive now, um, do you have anything interesting after you're dead? Can you get back to life? You know, um... My mother used to make jokes that we live sort of in the same area. I was kind of shy. Uh, yeah, I'd call that shy. Um, did your father live in the same area? He did. Uh, he did, but do you have any stories maybe about him? Yeah, I remember him coming up there and I was, his voice was okay, you know, um, and that might have been why I only knew what my feet looked like. Um, you only know what your feet looked like? Is that where you have to drive to, uh, sing and perform music? Okay, what is white music? I never said white music, uh, okay. Um, who was your influence in growing up? Who was your favorite, favorite musician? It does so happen that my favorite singer is my feet. In their free time, they, they started a band. I started liking them when I was 17 or 18 years old. Your feet? Who are your, your favorite industry? Justin, come on, really. Feet? This album took a year. Oh, wow, they didn't mm. expect that. It's different. I mean, obviously, I didn't know what to expect before, and now I'm, I'm, I've come up with all these great feet. I, I wonder why it took a year. I check your feet. All right, but come on now. Um, your feet can't teach you music. Your feet are just your feet. He taught me chords and the guitar, and we used to sing uh, duets in the church until I was probably like the age of 10. The age of 10, the age of 10. then you just stop listening to your feet? Justin, really. Um, I'm not going to listen to any of this anymore. Uh, you know what, because I'm a unicorn. 
Which one says no? Okay? No, I'm done. Oh, your tree, how do you tree? I think it's pink. How do you Really? I'm done. Unicorn's done. My grandfather, who's the captain of the fire department? Shut up.